Hey, what is going on guys? Hayden here, also known as Zebs, bringing you another tutorial on uh, Incident 40 and this tutorial will be another material tutorial since I think it was last week or two weeks ago I did a uh, how to make a grunge material. This week I'm going to do a vine material since I've been recently doing a lot of, of vine styles. This is going to be a basic vine style but you can still make a really some really cool banners with it. If you don't believe me, I'll show you a couple banners I've made with this basic vine setup basically so I'll just show you this one for example uh, these vines is what I'm going to show you how to do um, very easy it looks a little different now because um, it looks better on like balls like this uh, or it's called uh, landscape thing landscape spheres things like that so yep there will be that. I'm going to show you how to do it. And it's very simple. Not a very long tutorial, which benefits both of us because it's less render time and you don't have to sit for a 30 minute tutorial. So I'm just going to make a new uh, material. And by the way, this um, these materials will be in the description down below. The vine material I'm going to make. I might make two different ones though. So, yes. So just go get, get a couple vine textures. Um, I have some here I've used I like these uh, I'm going to use this one and basically we don't need specular so just go to your color go to the texture click a uh, just click this and then select a vine material click open and then boom click no and then it's gonna be basic here I'm just gonna set this on uh, the logo so I can see what it looks like as we build it so cubic seamless and if I was to render it, eh, it's not going to look very good because there's no bump or there's no displacement or things like that. But it could still pass as a vine material. Like I said, it's very easy. You just, it depends on the textures you use. Whew. But the next step is going to go to bump. We're going to check bump. And we're going to use the same uh, texture we use. So this one. And what that's going to do, if you don't know what bump is, it's like a, a smaller displacement, basically. So I'm just going to quickly render this out. Um, so to give it a little bit more detail into it, uh, it's a little hard to notice on leaves, but it's very noticeable on grunge textures, but yes, you always want to have bump on most materials. So with that, you're just going to do that, and then we're going to go into displacement, and displacement, we're going to use the, uh, same material, I guess, and then I'm just going to set the strength to 15th, and then... Uh, hold on. I'm actually going to uh, I change the texture to something like. That. Uh, hold on. I'm gonna get a different one. Let's go into grungy and let's get uh this one. I think this one's a good displacement. Is it? Yes. Okay. We're gonna get this one. And once you've done that, I'm just gonna render it out. It's gonna take a little bit longer, but it adds a little bit. It's not so sharp on the edges. It gives it a little bit of curve. Um, if you have a Beast computer, I don't. I'm going to have one soon. I'm getting a new computer within the next few days so I can make more tutorials for you guys. Set the height to like 10. Check sub poly displacement and set it to uh, 6. And then that'll give you a good displacement for that. And then uh, this is kind of optional. Set this to black. And um, get the uh, get a different one. So go t -t 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 -t, where's it at? Vine. Whoopsies. Vine. And then I'm just gonna select t -t -t this one. And I'm just going to lower the mix strength a little bit to make it a little bit brighter and have a little bit more textures into it. So there's that. This here. I'm actually not gonna use the logo. I'm gonna make a. Uh, Landscape. By the way, if you don't know how to make what I showed you on the banner, those balls, go into this blue square, hit landscape, go spherical at the very bottom in the object, and just, I'm going to minimize it a little bit, fit the Lightroom. And all you have to do, I'm just going to drag it back a little bit into where the logo is, and then uh, drag this here, and then boom, boom, and then set this to cubic, and seamless, good, good. Now if I was to render it, it's going to look pretty cool, and it's going to look like a, a vine ball. And then, if you wanted, 
you could uh, go into plugins I don't know if this is optional if you have this but it's like night and day for me uh, select the landscape go double click this once your Ivy Grow. I already made a tutorial on Ivy Grow that's why I'm not like explaining it but if you do know how to use Ivy Grow or and uh, you have it you can do this and then I'm just gonna show you something cool you could do with it to make it look a little bit more realistic so I'm just gonna grow the ivy um, stop growing and then give birth and then I'm just gonna use this material onto the ivy so boom and then boom Oops. and then delete this one and this will give it more of a realistic look like for example if you do uh, Reaper X, like you do it here, and then you can have vines hanging down. But I'm just gonna quickly render this out to show you what it looks like. It might be a little bit hard to notice on the vine, but with the Reaper X, you can have vines hanging down, which makes it look a lot more realistic. It's like a night and day, basically. Um, it's more convincing. The, the little things can really make a banner, and these are like the little things that you could do. So this gives a little bit more texture, more detail, things like that. But it's a little hard to notice on this ball because they both had the same material and there's nothing hanging off from it but I mean you can kind of see it it looks like a vine I'll just render this out pretty quickly like I said my computer's not that great but when I get my new computer render times are gonna be like 10 times faster and you're gonna have more tutorials on my personal channel if you want to check that out it's www.youtube.com slash zebsarts and here you go if you look closely like move your head into the monitor do it uh, you're gonna notice that there's it's three-dimensional there's lots of like vines and stuff instead of just like a, a textured thing so I mean you could do this all around the ball and then just duplicate the ball and then you could go into once you've covered the ball in Ivy you could click this go MoGraph cloner and then do all that fancy stuff I'm guessing I already know how to do that if not I can make a tutorial on it also if you're still watching leave a comment down below on what you'd like to see next from me or anyone else we all want to look at the comments and also heads up from the feedback you guys given us we've removed the vlogs we're not doing vlogs anymore if you still like if you're the people who did like the vlogs we do have a second channel called the fun a the fun academy it's in our sub box we are going to be doing vlogs on there and speed arts we are keeping because we all enjoy doing speed arts so if you like it or not we're still going to do speed arts basically um so i hope you enjoyed this guys I'm Zebs and I'm out. Peace.